Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial. Um, today I'm showing you how to make a transition in Panda and only in Panda for video editing. And of course, this can be a little bit improved, improved, but I just made this um, really quick test because a friend asked me. Um, do I know a uh, 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 do I know a really a uh, good um, video editing program? And I said if you don't have to do really complex things, you can do uh, this with Blender, but you don't have um, that um, many transitions and that stuff. And I thought maybe there's a way with black and white um, images so they used as a mask to paint the two images and yeah I played a little bit with that and I came up with the solution so I'm showing you this I hope this is going to be a really quick tutorial and here you see a new paint file and now we're going to make the mask for this transition. So, and this uh, here it would be these scale things. I made it with rigid bodies and some spheres and that, and they fall on them. Yeah, let's see. But now I make an other one. Because this other would be too complex for a short tutorial. Let's see. Oh, add music to camera. Control Alt and Zero to go into the top. But maybe reset the transformation and rotation and cheat set six, for example. Cheat set six. Oh. And G Z six. Now set this to autographic and scale is zero point five and move it here and holding control so it snaps to the grid and make sure that it is a little bit um out of the camera range is don't see this border and we make a okay no a rotation key from here and maybe one second later we rotate it in the y direction 90 degrees and make a rotation keyframe as well so you just see this really simple motion maybe So now duplicate it with Shift and D, G, X, one. Um, G, X, one. What's that? G, X, one. Now it works. I think I had to. Capital turned on. Oh, Shift D, G, X, one. Why does this don't work? Ah, uh, G, X, one. Oh, because there's a new system with a uh, value entering. I it. Uh, Recognized the um, G and the X, and it thought it's a mathem mathematical operation or something like this, and it just can't read it. So, <laughs> yeah. So, this rotates. 
but maybe offset these keyframes by I played with that already a little bit, so maybe just this one select all of them and reframe G six G nine twelve oh no this didn't work well and fifteen. So let's see. Yep, it's not and duplicate these and G let's see G five man. One negative. This is strange. You see it when I press G and Y, and now it works. G Y negative one. That's a little bit confusing for me. So move them reframes as well. Make sure to um, check this so only the selected keyframes are shown. So don't move these key these keyframes. Shift D. Let's see. Oh, you don't have to press um, G for the movement. Then it works. Let's see. Every keyframe, uh, three frames. G three. G three. Now it works. Duplicate and. Y negative one and every keyframe and three. Let's see. A little bit weird because this doesn't work. Oh. So this is our end frame. And now the material setup, select everything and make a new new material. But in the Blender render, of course you can do it in cycles, but you don't have to because just black and white, um, shadeless, pure white, and let's see, black background. Oh, my microphone. Back background and display on the render and shading GLSL and texture shading here or Alt and C and you see this and just choose an output folder uh, first the format. And let's see, desktop, open GL and plane offset. I think I typed it right. And make an open GL preview. Um, this goes a little bit faster than rendering. You just need a black and white image. Go to your editing um, file and I deleted the strip so you see um, what to do. And I also make a preview for the screen cast keys. Let's see here. Um, yeah, it's just fine. So at your videos, you want to cut or make the transition and move this to an X, I think. So X and two. Let's see, X and two. No oh, one. Oh man. 
just make it like this. Um, they changed so you can make some math, uh, mathematical operations in with the movement and rotation and all that stuff. So if I press Y or something like this, it reads this as a letter and yeah, not as an uh, axis. So that's a little bit confusing for me. So cut it here for example. And add another video here. And I don't need the audio. And now our mask. Let's see desktop, open GL and plane offset I think. And make sure to that um the um mask has uh, uh and the part where the mask video is that both um strips overlays so you can make a nice transition. So yeah, just test it when the strip is for example like so this result isn't Nice. So now the interesting part I add on the top um top video uh, mask and I choose as a mask the plane offset um part of the video and here we choose alpha over and now the video overlays above the bottom one. So if we play this back oh we yeah. You see it's nice transition. Maybe it's a little bit fast but you can change this. Yeah I hope you like this. I yeah you learned something. Oh one thing I divided the resolution in half so the playback here goes a little bit faster. Of course I would change this back to 720 for our rendering. And yeah. Oh I hope you liked it. You learned something new and hopefully your video editing with Blender is now much nicer. And yeah maybe if you like this video, give me a thumb up. Uh, even subscribe my YouTube channel for more video for more video tutorials and uh, what else? Yeah, f sorry that um, the UV unwrapping part um, isn't online yet because our I was a little bit lazy and I had sometimes just not the time to record it but I think this will follow the next one or two weeks and yeah I had some problems with the unwrapping uh, UV stretching if you know what it means and I had to add some more seams and all that stuff so yeah um yeah see you next time and Happy planning until that.